Good morning, candidates. Today, a candidate from Imayat um, Nagar, uh, what is that place? Telangana referred to me about Exim Bank interview and he has sent the resume form of Exim Bank. If we go through this, this will give us an idea what are the questions they will ask in no, any interview for that matter. Any interview for that matter, what are the questions they will ask? We can easily know this. You see, this is the format of the resume they have sent. Say, details sought in this resume form are intended to give us an impression of you as a professional and also to help assess whether we could provide you a career best suited to your abilities and interest matching our needs. So this is what, here they are asking, what are the things? Applicant's name, Post applied for, what is the roll number? Followed by full name in block letters, first name, middle name, surname. These things are all known to you. You will be affixing your recent passport size color photo. Then what is your age? Completed age, date of birth, nationality Indian. Do you belong to SC, ST or OBC? Non-creamy layer. Then are you a person with disability, general or economically weaker section? In case of persons with disability, indicate na dis um, nature of disability, marital status, are you married? If you are married, spouse name, occupation, organization, for then next your father's name, occupation, organization, mother's name, occupation, organization. Why they are asking all these questions? The moment you write these things, you must be prepared to answer questions related to or based on this. So that is a point. Then address to which we should write, permanent address, telephone number, pin code, email. These things you must be very careful in giving it correctly. There are many cases where candidates have given the date of birth and all wrongly. There is a case of a, a probationary officer interview. That boy gave his date of birth as 14 September. Instead of 15 September, the fellow could not attend interview. Though he has scored excellent marks, he missed that chance. That year, now he is an officer in United Insurance, United India Insurance. So be careful about filling up the columns, not only this column any column for that matter. Next is present employer. In case you are employed, what is the present employer? Address, telephone number, fax, email. If you had applied for this post in the past in organization, give details. Are you willing to work anywhere in India? Obviously, you have to say yes. Next, they are asking about education, 10th class, year of passing, school or university, degree specialization, then di division or class grade, marks obtained, scholarship, other distinctions. Similarly, 12th class, graduation, post-graduation, and supposing you are a doctorate, any other thing. The, it should be recognized, approved by government or AACTE, indicate any degree course done under correspondence or distance learning. I think they have some reservation about distance learning or um, say correspondence. Please mention that. Then experience in your of, uh, work experience you have to give. How many months you have worked from to who was the employer, designation, what was the job profile, emoluments, including basic pay, HRA, allowance and gross pay. If you have worked in more than one company, bank you give the details then language is known what is your mother tongue what is the language can you speak mother tongue read mother tongue write mother tongue there are there are some cases where candidates mother tongue they can only speak they cannot write they, sometimes they are able to read it depends similarly other languages 
then co curricular activities sports literary and social activities remember whenever you are writing here you must be willing to answer you must be prepared to answer questions related to this so here the um, what are the type of activities and positions say it is a say cricket dancing acting directing or writing whatever it is give details then this is very important point more about you what do you think are your personal strengths what are the areas where you need to improve as an individual here i would like you to refer to another one i will take you to that one now say uh, just a minute i will take you to that one um for example i will take you to this my blog yes bank dot in achievement motivation yeah so please go through this now this will give you an idea what are the qualities you can refer not that you have to mention only this way out of these what are the quality strengths you have hard working self confidence positive attitude time management a dynamic takes initiative leadership styles ability to grasp quickly then clearly defined goal planning of priorities properly any four or five strengths you give and you must be able to talk about them also i can also show you another one just a minute wait i can also show you another one mm, yeah this one i will show you this material i will show you your material the strengths and all you can learn from this you can know how you can write what are your strengths say for example this is the one i will give you i will share the screen with you yeah you can mention any one of these things for example enthusiastic resilient resilient means trying again and again focused confident competent motivated you can mention that or you can mention any one of the key skills that are given here these are available in the link i am providing for any interview in interview so you can mention about any one of these things any few few items you can mention quick learner empathetic communicative skills problem solving skills positive attitude initiative in work good listening skills technical knowledge likewise you can mention these things okay good now let me go again to the previous one we were concentrating uh, what is that one yeah i am taking you to another one this one um yeah exim bank resume me so here only you are going to write strengths if you write that about that you must be able to talk then what are your short term and long term career objective you mentioned my short term goal is to get into exim bank and rise up and the long term goal is to be stable in that and rise up in career in say exim bank then outline briefly your reasons for applying to our organization exim bank you can tell the plus points about exim bank and the achievements made by them also tell the gain you will be making like a, say a stable career and a good salary these points you can mention here then are you related to any employee or director of exim bank you have to mention that you have to give a reference of two people who are not related to you before giving the reference please talk to them please talk to them and tell them that i am going to give your name then give it properly then you have to give the place name date and then give signature 
this is what it is this um pro forma has been sent by our exim bank um, candidate who is appearing for interview i thank him for sending this to us and this is useful for any interview please prepare for answering questions related to this for example if you are talking about say my educational qualification say if you, if your marks are varying they will ask you why it is differing for if it has gone up fine if it has come down they will ask and then if you have changed from graduation to post graduation they will ask why did you change the subject likewise so please be ready for answering this and next important point is there is one more video where i would have given you tips for succeeding in interviews please go through that also i will give that in the comments column of comments of this video so you can so that you can see that also so best wishes and uh, in case some of you need the same video explanation in hindi or tamil or telugu please put it in your in the comments column so that uh, i can um make a video for that in the particular language you are asking i know only these three additional languages tamil telugu and hindi i can speak only very little bengali but whereas hindi and other things i can manage so this is what i would like to tell you abhi last mein ye bata raha hu aap log ka ye video hindi mein chahiye to aap comments mein de dijiye um sir ji ye to hindi mein de dijiye hum aapko hindi se kar denge இந்த வீடியோ போட்ட இந்த வீடியோ வந்து உங்களுக்கு தமிழ்ல சொன்னா நல்லா இருக்கும்னு நினைச்சீங்கன்னா நீங்க பிளீஸ் மென்ஷன் இன் கமெண்ட் ஐ வில் டூ இட் ஈ வீடியோ மீக்கு தெலுங்குலோ காவாலே கமெண்ட்ஸ்லோ வேண்டி நேனும் தெலுங்குலோ மாட்டலாம் தேங்க்ஸ் பெஸ்ட் விஷஸ் தேங்க் யூ சோ மச் அண்ட் ஐ வில் கைட் பீப்புள் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம் பேங்க் இன்டர்வியூ ஆல்சோ ஐ திங்க் நியர்லி ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் டுவெண்ட்டி பீப்புள் ஆர் சோ ஹவ் பீன் கால்ட் ஃபார் இன்டர்வியூ and um, you can uh, send your cv to my whatsapp number please note the number 8072177482 then you must pay the 200 rupees first interview fees to gpay or phone pay or say paytm 9003037 So these are the points I wanted to share with you. Best of luck. Thank you.